Hi my lovely students how are you all i hope you all are doing well so today we are going to discuss uh, the model question paper of this year that is 20 uh, 23 sorry 2024 okay that the subject is math from 5th standard okay so let's start so this is how your question paper will be like look like the front page this is all you need to fill you know that right so now let's move to the next one here if you see the first what is the first question will be it will be choose the correct answer you will get the choose the correct answer from the four options given from question 1 to 12 so you will get 1 to 12 that will be mcq or choose the correct answer each is carrying the one mark okay so the answer with alphabet in the space but here you have tried the alphabet and here you have tried the answer got it okay so here if you see the first question here the product obtained on multiplying any number and zero is if you see the product is nothing but you will get it in the multiplication the answer whichever we get that we called as a product right so the product obtained on multiplying any number if you will any number you can take 1 into 0 1 into 0 0 8 into 0 0 so what will be your answer that is 0 right so what is our answer that will be a 0 so here what you have to do here you have to write d that is 0 got it okay now let's move to the next one here the figure that represent 4 into 2 among the following is so 4 into 2 how much it is 4 into 2 is 4 to the 8 right so here if you divide into equal 4 so it is 4 plus 4 right so i just leave this one if you see here like this okay so here 4 into 2 if you divide 4 4 groups into 2 where it is there 1 2 3 4 One, two, three, four. Four to the eight, and here four plus four is eight, right? So which is the answer? The C is the right answer. So here we'll write C, and here children you have to draw the stars like this neatly. You have to draw in the each four are there. So we'll write one, two, three, four. Again one, two, three, four. Got it. Okay. Now let's move to the third one. Division is nothing but repeated. Yes, division is nothing but repeated subtraction. We use the subtraction the division, right? So this answer is subtraction. So we'll write B here. The answer is subtraction. So you have to write like this. That is subtraction. Okay. Now let's move to the next one here. Question number four. By rounding off. Thirty-five thousand seven hundred fifty-six to the nearest thousand place. So you need ten hundred thousand. If you round off this one, what will be your answer? Okay. So here we'll write this. That is thirty-five thousand seven hundred and fifty-six. Right. So you have to round off to the nearest thousand place. Right. So here, what you have to do? You have to see this number. If it is seven, means The next number should you have to add plus one to it, right? So the first number unit should be replaced by zero, ten, zero, and hundred. You have to replace by zero. If it is one, two, three, four, five, then you have to keep this number unchanged. If it is five, six, seven, eight, nine, then you have to add plus one to the next number that is to the thousand place. So here this will become what? Six and this is three. So what is the answer? That is thirty-six thousand. So where is thirty-six thousand? So here is a thirty-six thousand. So we'll write here a a thirty-six thousand seven hundred fifty-six. Got it? Yes. Okay, children, is that clear? Okay. Now let's move to the next one. Yes. So six one. The part of decimal fraction represented by MT on line segments M and E is. So here, how it will be? You have to see the decimal fraction of this given line. If you see this line here, so MT is MT on line segmented by M N, right? Yes. So here, what is MT? That is MT is zero to one, two, three, four, right? Four. 
4 divided by so mn is 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 divided by 10 now you have to write this in a decimal fraction you know that right so how to write it how many zeros are there one zero is there so we'll write this number 4 and one zero is there means we'll put the point and zero so this is our decimal fraction right so where it is there 0 0.4 so here it is there 0 0.4 so the b is the right answer that is b 0 0.4 got it children yes now let's move to the next one sixth one the place value of 3 in 0 0.43 is what is the place value of 3 in 0 0.43 okay so if you see here in this one this is the this is after 0 this is 0 is the right so after 0 this will be considered as a tens and this is the 100 so 300 right so what is the place value of this one this is as i told you this is the tens and this is the 100 so what is the place of 3 it is 100 means this is a 300 so 300 so where is 300 a you can see here right so this is our right answer that is we'll write here a and here you have to write the answer in the space provided that is 3 t h r e 100 this is how you have to write got it children okay so now come to the seventh one here Rupees 17.15 can be expressed in paise. You have to express this rupees in a paise. As you know that 1 rupee is equal to how many paisa? 100 paisa. So it is very simple. You just need to write this one. 17.15 you into you have to multiply it to 100. So what will be your answer? So 0, 0 are there. You just remove this one, right? So what will be your answer? That is 1715. So, this is the rupees. So, rupees, sorry, this is the paise, not rupees. So, this is the paise. Okay, that is 1715 is a paise. Where it is there? So, you can see the answer in C, right? So, we'll let's see here. That is 1715 paise. Got it, children? Yes, so you have to write the full answer like this. Yes, just a minute. Yes, so paise you have to write like this. Got it? Okay, now let's move to the next one that is 8th. In this month, there will be increase in a day for leap year. You know what is leap year? We get it every 4 years, right? So, this is that is comes in the February. So, usually the February have 28 days. In the leap year, we get it as 29 days. So, luckily, I mean in this year, we are having the in 2024, we are having the leap year, right? Yes. So, here... Do you get that? What is leap year? Now, in this month, there will be increase in a day for leap year. In which month? As I told you now, it is in the February month. So, where is February here? So, D, February. So, you have to write this whole answer like this. Okay. Now, let's move to the ninth one. When we rotate a rectangle, you know, this is rectangle. In a definite axis, the solid observer is. So, if you... When we rotate this rectangle in a definite axis, okay, in this way, the solid observer is, it is look like a cone, sphere, cylinder or cuboid. It is look like a cylinder, right? So, see cylinder. It looks like a cylinder, right? So, you can see here. Okay, now let's move to the next one. There is a tenth one. A solid object when weaved from side, it seems to be rectangular and its top weave is sphere than the solid is. If a solid object is weaved from the front side, front side, the weave will look like a rectangle and from the uh, top view, it looks like a sphere. So, which so solid shape it is? Is it a square, cylinder, cone or the cuboid? Yes. So, it is. It is. Yes, it is the cylinder, right? So, B will write cylinder here. You have to draw the cylinder like this. Got it, children? Yes. Now, let's move to the next one. That is 11th one. If the same pattern is continued, the number of the figure, that will be same as the first figure. So, the continue, you have to continue this pattern. Okay. So, this is the first one, second one, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. You have to continue till you get the same from the first one. Okay. So, let us do it here. Okay. Yes. 
so first one here this you just observe this one first one is there here right so here plus is there here where is the minus you just see the minus minus is there here minus is there here minus next one where the minus will go it will go on the this side right so we'll draw it first square so the minus will go this side means here it should be after the minus we are having into so into will come here this after this into yes so after this one which one we are having so here there is a silly one mistake is there here it should be a divided by right yes so here it will be a see into then divided by then here it should be a plus is it look like a first one no it is not look like a first one so this is the fourth one now let's do the one more fifth one now you have to change here we have written minus means you just write the minus here followed by x then divided by then plus so do it look like a first one yes it is look like a first one right so which is the it is the fifth place so this is the answer where is the fifth here so a fifth got it okay now let's move to the next one that is 12th one the geometrical figure with only two axes of symmetry among the following geometrical figure with only two axes of symmetry they should have only two axes of symmetry so if you see here in the 12th one if you draw it is having the it is having the many of the this one right it should have a only two axes of symmetry if you see it is having a one wait a minute it is having one and here it will be many uh this will be comes across this one right in this way if you see this one it is having a single one it is having a two so here two axis of symmetry here you can see that this is two axis of symmetry so we'll have the answer that is d rectangle okay now let's move to the next one so children here we have to solve the problems in the next class we are going to continue with this one so till then take care of yourself be with me if you think this video is really useful to you just don't forget to like share with your friends and do subscribe my channel and children one more thing already we have solved the previous year model question paper you will get all those video link in my description box just go and check it out and even you get the i have made the shorts on this directly answers without any explanation you get direct the answers and that link also will be uh, there in my uh, this one description box just go and check it out okay children so bye bye